Section 3. You will hear a panel discussion between the panel moderator and two panelists, Dr. Karen Akers and Dr. Fred Williams, both transportation consultants. In the first part of the discussion, they are talking about the future of public transportation. First, you will have some time to look at questions 11 to 13. Sentirai una discussione tra il moderatore del panel e due relatori, la dottoressa Karen Akers e il dottor Fred Williams, entrambi consulenti di trasporti. Nella prima parte della discussione stanno parlando del futuro dei trasporti pubblici. Prima potrai esaminare le domande da 11 a 13. Dr. Williams and Dr. Akers, I want to thank both of you for coming today and sharing your thoughts on the future of public transportation. Glad to be thank here. Thank you. Let me ask you first, Dr. Williams. Traffic congestion is becoming more and more of a problem and it's spreading. We're used to traffic jams in cities, but now we find traffic problems on many major highways that run between cities. What solutions do you see for the future of transportation? Many transportation experts, myself included, are excited about the potential of high-speed trains. These trains are having a great deal of success in Japan and in several European countries as well. They've actually been around for a while, since 1964, in fact. The first high-speed train was put into operation that year. What would the speed be exactly of a high-speed train? Uh, how would you define high-speed train? We usually call a train high-speed if it's capable of traveling at 200 kilometers an hour or faster. That's very fast. Now look at questions 14 to 16. Complete the table below. Write no more than three words for each answer. Write the answers below the table. Ora domande 14 a 16. Completare le tabelle sotto. Non scrivere più di tre parole per ogni risposta. Lo spazio per scrivere è sotto la tabella. It would seem to open up a lot of possibilities for transportation between cities. Yes, that's right. Fifty years ago or more, conventional trains were the major form of transportation between cities. Of course, they weren't high-speed trains, but nobody expected that then. Those old trains provided frequent, reliable, and affordable long-distance transportation, and most people used them. Then things changed. Cars and highways were improved, so more and more people started driving cars. Cars are a great form of transportation. Everybody loves them because they're so convenient. But we usually use cars for local trips, shopping and going to work and things like that. That's true. For long-distance trips, most people nowadays rely on planes. Plane service is more frequent and affordable now than it was in the past. So planes, like cars, have become more convenient for people. Meanwhile, trains have more or less fallen by the wayside as a common means of transportation. But with everybody driving cars and taking planes, we have a lot of congestion. And not just on the roads. Airports have become very crowded, too. Exactly. We have congestion everywhere now, so we need to look at new forms of transportation. Now you have time to look at question 17. Choose four letters from A to G. Ora, guarda domanda 17. Selezionare quattro lettere fra A e G. And that's where high-speed trains come in. They offer several advantages over both cars and planes. When you take everything into consideration, getting to the train station, boarding the train, and all that, a high-speed train gets you to your destination just about as quickly as a car. So speed isn't really an advantage. Cost isn't always either. Depending on how many people are traveling with you, a train trip could be more expensive than a car trip. But... A train trip is much more relaxing than a car trip. You can read, sleep, eat, whatever, while the train carries you to your destination. And, of course, you're never delayed by traffic jams. To my mind, these are great advantages. Yes, I can really see the advantage of the train over the car. But what about planes? Planes are much faster than cars, so that's a big plus for planes. Not necessarily. 
For trips shorter than 650 kilometers, high-speed trains can actually be faster. Checking in at the airport and going through security takes a long time. You don't have that kind of delay with a train. Also, trains can carry more passengers than planes. They can also offer more frequent service. So for your medium-distance trips, they really are faster than planes. That is the end of Section 3.